Evening everyone, today um, I'm going to show you how I light this barbecue for the first, well, second time actually. I've trialed it just once, I bought it just over the weekend. Um, the Kulaba Outdoor part Portable Charcoal Barbecue. Um, very light, easy to use, probably best for camping. There's little fishing trips, which is what I actually used it for over the weekend. Um, you can see some of the features here. Now I've unpacked the... Uh, the Coolabar Outdoor Charcoal Barbecue. So there's the uh, nice and handy bag. You can slip the um, barbecue back into and carry it around when you need to. Um, I've unpacked the main unit basically over here, which I'll talk through a bit more in a minute. That's your uh, charcoal basket, um, which you can put your pieces of charcoal into, which you can make, buy, or I reckon you could use briquettes. Although this model, or this barbecue says that you can't use briquettes there's your grill plate hottest in the middle and um, just nice and warm on the outside uh, something that doesn't come in the package but i've had to buy is this um, samba fire lighter gel and um, that's just to get your fire started and get your cooking going and there's a couple of more pieces for the base this is done um, to help with ventilation but also catches any fat that uh, comes off your cooking and um, after the first use that catcher I'm going to call it and ventilator plus this grill plate went straight into the dishwasher quick and easy nicely washed okay so we're going to go put this together now all the parts and then stick it inside the, uh, the carry bag so we've got the ventilator and um, fat catcher we've got this which is where our ignition fluid Ignition gel is going to be sitting on. We've got some charcoal which we prepared earlier from yeah. our chimney in the back garden. And see, there's a charcoal, and you will see what we will do next. So put that in the middle. That sits just like that, and the grill plate held down by a couple of clips just on either side here. It's nice and handy, which allows you to pick it up. Obviously when it's hot that's not a great idea, but it allows you to pick it up nice and easily. Okay, now we're just going to pick it up and put it in here. And it just slips in relatively easily. There we go. And it's actually quite light to carry around. Jake, you do you want to try to carry that? Yeah, I can. With two hands. There you go. So it probably weighs, I'm going to say, around three kilos at the tops, um, but it's got that nice carry bag. And of course, what else you'll need is um, some of the Samba okay. Fire Lighter Gel, which I picked up from Bunnings. Alright, so we're just going to unpack it all, as if we just arrived at a campsite or a fishing spot. We'll just slide that down, pick it up, wobble it a bit, the bag drops off. First step before we can do any cooking is actually underneath. So underneath, as you can see, if you're coming close here, you need uh, four AA batteries, and they just slip into here, which we've done earlier. I'd be surprised to see. Um, I'd be interested to see how long they last. So, we just rather liberally put some of this fire lighter gel around here, which is basically going to get our power and our fire going. No need to be tight with the um, samba gel. You can put as much as you want, as little as you want. It is going to light up though, so be a little bit careful. Don't want to go overboard. Yeah, don't go overboard. <laughs> so, once we've got that in there, we need to get a fire starter. What's Where's our fire starter? Our red fire starter. Can it's you get it from that. over there? Oh, fire starter. Here we are. This is the fire starter everyone. So, um, we're going to turn on the fan down here, which is obviously powered by the batteries onto full. 
make sure we got oxygen flowing through the unit and then we're going to light up our fire lighter gel as you can see the air is flowing now we're going to get our bucket of coals charcoals and set that on top and be careful of your hands because obviously we've got a naked flame here next put on this. now we're going to put on our grill plate which of course is going to get hot and allow us to do our cooking you can see there's a little bit of um, movement in these clips so you want to put it on and make sure you want to put these clips on to make sure that they're nicely on and then we wait for it to get a little bit hot so we've got a little bit of heat started already waiting for our coals to get warmer Okay, so on full heat, we've got our fan down here. Now you want that to be on for about three to four minutes. And then after the three to four minutes are up, you can turn it down to half heat and you should have your coals nice and red hot. If you look inside here, you can see some of the coals are already getting a little bit hot. So we're now at about two, or two minutes now. So we've got about another two minutes to go halfway there. All right, now we're reaching to our four minutes and um, as you can see here all the coals are getting nice and hot in here and we've got plenty of airflow coming from the um, the fan powered by those batteries okay so after um, setting this to four minutes on high um, you then want a further three minutes at about three quarter to half and then your grill plate will be ready to cook I'm gonna go with three quarters Okay, our four minutes are passed and nearly through our three minutes at medium to three quarter um, heat and so we're almost ready to cook. Now we've got the uh, pork chops over here which we mentioned and we're going to cook them hopefully nicely on this uh, cooler bar charcoal barbecue. Alright, so we're just going to put our pork chops on. Yes, pork um, chops. We're going to put them in the middle and cook them quickly on the outside first. And number two. Nice little sizzle to begin. Here we go. Now, the coals are nice and hot. And we don't want them to disappear too quickly. We don't want them to burn up too quickly. So we're going to turn this setting down a little bit. As I said, we're near enough to full heat there, but I'm going to turn it down to about three quarters now. I don't know if you can see that that indicator and the dial there. And we're going to turn our pork chops over. So we've got a searing going on on one side, and uh, we just get the other side going in a slot, slightly lower heat. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Smells bloody good as well. What are you having for dinner? Um, garlic bread and, and, and pizza. Garlic bread and pizza? Two, pe two different pizzas. Oh. Now, Jackie, where do you live? In Canberra. In Canberra. And is it cold in Canberra? No? Okay. Do you like the cold, do you? Uh, Why are you wearing a beanie then? Because it's cold. Yeah, exactly. It's a different cold, but it's still cold. Okay, so since flipping it and turning down the heat, we're finding it's, um, it's hard to control the heat, basically. So we might need to turn it back up to get this second side cooked nicely. So we're going to go back to the, the dial and turn it almost to the max again. Four fifths, I'll call it. And it should get those charcoals red hot again and the meat sizzling again. All right, so we're just coming to a close here. It looks like um, the meat is cooked on its second side. We'll just turn that up so you can have a look. So we've got it nicely browned on this side as well.
both pieces. Um, so we're just going to let that sit for a little bit and then we're going to take it onto our plate and turn it off. And take them inside. And wash them? Now with the coals, if you're out bush, fishing, Why? camping, whatever it might be, obviously we want to put them, pour some water over them and they should be cool enough to pick up in your, ha in your bare hands. Um, otherwise, we've got a fire danger. So just make sure water over the coals, cool enough to pick up and hold in your hand, and then you can move on. So just as easy as it was to turn on, we can turn it off, um, the fan off. Done. All in all, not too bad. A little bit hard to control the heat at times, but once you work it out after a bit of trial and error, it should be pretty easy, and you should have some delicious meals on a lightweight charcoal barbecue, easy to take out camping. Bye everyone! Delicious. Satay pork chops on the Kula Bar mini charcoal barbecue tonight. If you liked the video, please hit like, and if you want to see some more of the same videos, hit subscribe as well. See you next time.